To me, a good tattoo is a clean outline, smooth shading, if it's color, solid color, and originality. What makes a good tattoo changes? If you have lighter skin, you can almost do a tattoo just as you would a painting. But if you have darker skin, then you need to simplify it so it can be seen. When it comes to tattooing, I'm just a vessel of that creativity. I'm just sitting back watching my hand move. I'm not thinking about it. I know it ain't me no more. It's creation, it's God, it's another place. And I don't care what the complexion of the person is, I'm gonna make them something beautiful. Who is Maya Bailey? I would probably say an artist, community builder, team builder. I would describe Peter Street Station first as an art and design community center down here in Atlanta. We got tattoo artists, our painters, our writers, our musicians, our singers under one roof and we feed off each other. And my whole goal here is to create new styles of art and let these younger artists shine, train them, make sure I got full attention on their resources. My whole goal is to see them to go as far as they want to go. Right now, I shall lead you into the humble abode. When people come in and they get in a tattoo, we give them a tour to build it. Maya has his private art collection hanging up here. My whole goal is to make sure that people come here and feel welcomed. So this is Maya Station. This is where you will be getting tattooed. I want them to be excited too, because when they're excited, it made me excited. When the client get here, I'm not going to be here, but I got apprentices. And what they're supposed to do is get this client comfortable. Nice to meet you. All right, so what are you getting today? I don't know. You don't know? No. There are a couple of elements I would like to include. Like, I would like a home. That's very important to me. Like, it's a very big part of who and what I am. Before I get to work, you know, the first thing I do, I make sure I got some alone time, take a long walk. I kind of take as much time as I can with my dogs, enjoy that, watch them play around. I really, truly don't know exactly what I'm going to do till I get there. Good to meet you there. You as well. Hey, tell me your concept today. So, um, I'm a tattoo artist. Yeah. Right? Um, and you are my inspiration for being one. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Damn. I would love anything in your style. I like bright colors and I love cartoons. If you can like your favorite cartoon Simpsons. characters. The Simpsons? Yes. When I meet the person for the first time, I kind of just let them do their talking. You know what I'm saying? Like when they explain it to me face to face, I can feel it. I like abstract work. I like masks. I have a lot of people in healthcare in my family, so I wanted to kind of just give a little tribute to the healers in my family. Okay, okay. Once they start reading out the story, it's like, okay, either it can be family-based, or trauma, or overcoming, or spiritual growth. When I was telling my wife about coming here and like how this was, I don't want to say it's a religious experience for me, because, yeah. but it is, yeah. you know what I mean? And so I just want that pouring into this. Before we start step one, my apprentices, they prep the whole area. They set up my inks in certain orders through darks to lights. Then they gonna shave the arm and just make sure that the skin is completely smooth without hair. You want a needle jagging up in a piece of hair or you run over a piece of hair and you mess up your line, or you get tangled and it pulls the hair out. That hurts, you know what I'm saying? The next step is the freehand work. I get my red marker first. Red is just sketch. So you'll see me sketch with the red. Get a nice rhythm going. Then I take a black marker and then I do the black line. It's the actual line that the client is gonna see. That's when I'm showing the actual designs, my guidelines, the black lines. When I use straight lines, that means I'm thinking logic, thinking thoughts. But anytime you see curves and movement in it, it represents love or emotion. 
after I finished doing the black ink, then that's when you know I'll, I'm kind of finished the design. Let the client stand up, look in the mirror. Usually they like it. I just wait for that expression. And once I get that expression on their face, then I know that uh, it's gonna be a good session. Increasingly, the institutional art world is honing in on tattooing as being a kind of art. And we've seen people that have completed their art degrees moving to tattooing. I'm David Lane. I'm an assistant professor of criminal justice sciences at Illinois State University. Part of what I study is crime and deviance, and the other part is culture and art. The crime and deviance pays the bills, but I also get to do the art part when I study tattooing. The oldest human bodies ever recovered have tattoos on them, meaning that we know it's at least a 5,000-year-old practice. There's not a single tribal society in the world in which the indigenous people don't practice tattooing. We can go to New Zealand historically in the Maori tribes. Often their face documented a lot of things, like whether people were on their first or second marriage, uh, what kind of labor they carried out, their family lineage. All sorts of things could be read off the face. Here in what's now the United States, we have documentation that Alaskan natives tattooed, people in the Southwest tattooed themselves. Even in Tennessee, we have found 2,000-year-old tattoo needles. And then ultimately, if we think about our contemporary context, tattooing, it's more popular and accessible than it ever has been before. There were a few sort of pop culture things that all sort of coincided over a number of decades. You had pop stars getting tattooed, and by the 1980s, and definitely by the 90s, you're starting to see athletes, whether it's football or NBA, they're visibly tattooed. By the time we get into the mid-2000s, we sort of have the birth of social media. And that allows people to take images of their own tattoos, or take images of tattoos they produced, and spread it to new audiences easier. When I first started doing this research, and this is over a decade ago, Jackie Gresham was one of the first names that ever came up. The conversation around Jackie, it, I, it can be summed up in a, in a couple words. Original and, and groundbreaking. My name is Jackie Gresham, and I've been in New Orleans for 45 years tattooing. I'm the first black woman to tattoo. This shop, back in the 70s and 80s, we had bike clubs come in here. Every Sunday, they would come in here. And back then, that was pretty much your clientele. Jackie was doing imagery that was an aesthetic challenge to what some white tattooers had considered the sort of essence of tattooing. So she's sort of broken ground in that sense. Today, tattoos, the different types are endless. If you can see it, we can do it as a tattoo. Miss Jackie, the world should know who she is, in my opinion. She's special. Imagine what she had to deal with. I came up in the 90s and it was super racist. So I couldn't imagine the things she had to go through. I think it makes it harder that I was a black person. I think also women in the industry have a, a hard time as well. When I wanted to buy this building, I had $15,000 down, and that's 25%, but the people would not sell it to me. So that is a prime example. But with our society today, I don't think you're gonna have a problem. They have a lot of super black artists that are incredible tattoo artists. And I think that people will come to you and appreciate the good artwork that you're doing. Once this tattoo is laid out and I'm doing freehand, I start everything from the right-hand corner so I don't swipe off my stencil. So you'll see me go and do a quick outline around the whole entire thing because if I don't, it's going to be wiping off. The person's going to be sweating, all this stuff. So I'm doing a quick outline around the whole entire thing so I don't lose it. Then I come in different line weights, doubling up lines to make it fatter, thicker. 
And then I fill up my solid black areas next to build out contrast. When I'm doing color, I always say, what's the darkest point of my tattoo? So I might do say, hey, I'm gonna use turquoise. And I'm gonna do another color next to turquoise that's not related to turquoise. So it's gonna make the darker turquoise color look even brighter. With the black and grays, it's more thinking with black and gray a little bit. Cause with black and gray, you really gotta make an image pop out using only a few tones. With a color tattoo, the black and gray under the tattoo is just your contrast. And you throw color right on top of that, like an overlay. So those pores are open and they're healing at the same time. So you gotta hurry up doing this color. It's getting swollen and sore right now. I gotta knock this out before this person tap out on me. I was probably always an artist growing up. My mom was like, I wouldn't even walk in, <laughs> and I could draw. And then as a child, I was going to the library and one of the books I picked up was created by Don Ed Hardy. And I read it and I thought about my father having a tattoo. So my mind clicked. I was like, man, you know, I think I'm something I'm interested in doing. You know, and in my time, it wasn't black tattoo artists at all. It was probably like, at this time, probably four in the world. And it was no black tattoo artists in North Carolina, period. I was the first one. So I ended up going to a tattoo shop called Liquid Dragon. Took me in, man, and just showed me some ropes. But I was messing around in the streets and kind of blew that. Just trying to find myself as a young man, getting in a whole bunch of trouble like most young men do. And I blew my opportunity, but it kind of opened up a door for me to move out of my hometown and move to Atlanta. And I ended up opening up my first tattoo shop. It made some good money, so it gave me that freedom to be able to paint and explore art more in the gallery scene. I'm a painter. That's what I really do for a living. Painting, I feel like that's Maya right there. You get to see pure me. I'm not worried about nothing. I'm not worried about if it's pretty or not. Because tattooing, I gotta make it pretty. I gotta make it beautiful. But painting, you don't have to make it beautiful. You feeling ugly, then you can express that. We are done. Once you finish the color, or the black and gray, whatever tattoo you're doing, the next step is really, they gonna see it. They look at it from that angle, but then you want to look in the mirror so they can see the, the reflection of how it will be naturally on their arm. The second reaction is very important. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because you definitely, is over. You want them to feel relief, and you want them to be happy at the same time. You like it? I love it. Give me a hug. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. That's the part I like the most. When that client look in that mirror and see that permanent thing I put on them, yeah, man, it's a big, it's a big responsibility. Then we bring them back. I take my photos, my pictures for my social media. And then I wrap them up. I use like a saran wrap, basic stuff, just to catch the blood and it'll mess up their clothes. Thank you so much. When it's done, I'm more thankful than anything. Cause I'm like, damn, I just made $1,500 and this money is gonna go back to this apprentice that's hosting them. It's going back to their careers, getting them a place to work. And it's just a good cycle. That's what I'm trying to do. If you want there to be a vibrant tattoo culture, you ought to go be a member of it. So go meet tattooers and get to know them and figure out if you like them because you're going to have a moment that's going to be with you for a while. You might as well have a good time while doing it. When it comes to tattooing, I'll be feeling more like a healer or a shaman. Even though you really don't need a tattoo, but it made me feel like they needed that and it's a relief for them and it's a relief for me.